Jumping worms, also known as amanthus worms, are native to East Asia. Now found in Maine and considered a major threat to our local ecosystems, jumping worms can have destructive effects on our forests. They are most easily identified by their behavior. They thrash about erratically when handled or disturbed. Adult jumping worms can be distinguished from other earthworms in Maine by the white band around their body. Juveniles do not have the milky white band, but can still be identified by their behavior. Their cocoons are as small as a peppercorn, making them difficult to see but easy to move around unknowingly. Jumping worms change the soil by speeding up the rate of leaf litter decomposition on the forest floor. They turn healthy soil into grainy, dry worm castings. Affected soils take on a look similar to coffee grounds and become more prone to erosion and compaction. Other native animals, insects, and fungi also decline without a forest with healthy soils to support their life cycles. Many of Maine's forests are already under pressure from invasive insects, plants, pathogens, and diseases, and jumping worms may cause long-term effects. Using a mustard powder solution that can be found in the description, you can monitor for the presence of jumping worms. So what can you do if you find them in your gardens, forests, or places you love to recreate? First, report new findings. Don't move plant material, including compost, mulch, and leaf litter. Check your plants before buying them and try and buy bare root when possible. Cleaning your boots when leaving a known area with jumping worms could help to slow the spread. Fishing? Please discard live worms by putting them in the trash, not in the wild.